Hi everybody, my name is Marshall Zern and I am an agricultural science student at McGill University and also an organic farmer working here in Bloomfield, New Brunswick. I'm here to chat with you a little bit about the relationship between climate change and agriculture. So as many of you probably already know, the Canadian agricultural system and the global agricultural system is already dangerously dependent on the burning of fossil fuels. Farming, which was once close to a renewable exercise, is now transformed into a completely industrialized process that is heavily reliant on the use of oil-based fertilizers, chemical pesticides, machinery, and centered mainly on the overproduction of feedlot cattle and swine. And it's these tendencies that have driven the agricultural sector in Canada to be responsible for 10% of the country's greenhouse gas emissions. And this 10% does not even include the excessive emissions from transportation of whole foods from farm to plate. I'm here to show you how you can actually make a bit of a difference by what you choose to eat. The farm you see behind me is the farm I work on known as Dave's Produce Packs and it has adopted the CSA or Community Supported Agricultural Model of Production which means that every week of the growing season we supply over 400 families within a 100 kilometer radius of the farm with a box of organically grown vegetables directly from our fields. So let me show you how it all works. By purchasing your food locally you're not buying stuff that traveled any distance. Every time something has to be trucked somewhere, that has an impact. You know, there's something else that's really important is also the, the, the practices of the farm. So just to say local doesn't mean that the farm doesn't use heavy chemicals. What you, what you want to buy from are local farms that are either uh, low spray or certified organic or uncertified organic, if you will. If you buy from farms like that, you're preventing uh, water contamination, you're preventing uh, uh, you know, carbon dioxide from going in the atmosphere, from transportation. Buying from a small and nimble operation like ours that's delivering produce locally, uh, I think is a better value for your dollar in terms of quali the quality and freshness of what you're getting than buying from the established food system. The second reason is that I think for many reasons it's more ethical to support a business like ours because we are building a more resilient food system. We are delivering food in a more, in a lower carbon way and in a more environmentally friendly way uh, that does not have the same effects on air quality and waterways and just pollution in general. The problems that arise from massive operations don't arise in ours. I've been involved in CSAs for you know for the last 50 years. The big appeal to CSA is that it puts the uh, it puts the profits directly back into the community because we know that you know perhaps a third of the fossil fuels that are burned in, the, in, in this continent are used to transport food yeah. or to use machinery mm -hmm. to produce it. And so for me, it was a way to you know put my money where my mouth is. We can change. Yeah. We can make changes to try to reduce you know, this intensive carbon consumption by shopping locally and especially by eating locally. This is just one of the many emerging alternatives in response to our destructive and industrialized food system. By supporting a CSA near you, you are effectively decreasing excessive emissions inherent to chemical and globalized agriculture. You're supporting your local economy and you're eating healthy whole foods to boot. By eating local and organic, you are effectively combating the trends that have made climate change what it is today. One bite at a time.